Jessica Moambulasing. Now we are looking at the, the battery light. These battery light, they, they are known as the headlight. Why we call them the headlamp is because we wear them on our heads. And um, as I said before, when we were discussing the color light, you are actually seeing is a headlamp that moves from the flambeau to the car light. Now Damien here is with me and we're looking at what this light does actually do. Now this is a battery light and this is taking the bullet demand and see this is actually moving. It does not heat up your head as such. It don't give you a broad light as the headlight. It gives you a more piercing type of light. As you see in here. You see the wearing light? Right? Those will come the thing. Right. You see now what, what we're talking about, a piercing light. After later we're going to see that this, this light, when you're doing the forest, you will actually see this light is actually piercing the, the uh, thing. While you're seeing a surrounding, there is a point that the light is piercing. Where we look at, we're looking at the animal eye in the night. The animal eye and the hunter is there we have a reflection of the eye. It's not a question of whether the animal is looking at the light. It's a question of the light reflecting. Because the light is on the eye, it does a sort of a, um, it reflects in a different way. People will tell you that you have different colors in the light. And the deer will have a yellow, uh, um, a greenish color. The lap will have a something color. It is not that. It is based on the angle the light is hitting the animal eye. The angle that shows the, the color. If the animal is direct to the light, you can show, show the light and we're talking about the direct. If it is direct in front and we are looking at the arm, you can put it on. What we are seeing, if the eye is direct into the light, you will find the eye giving you a yellowish color. And if you're looking at an angle, if you're looking at an angle and the eye, the animal is probably not looking at the light, but it is there at an angle, that eye might give a sort of a greenish color. So it's not to say that there is the animal will show a color. A color doesn't, it really, um, a color is shown based on the angle of the headlight. And as the saying that the, the animal don't have to look at the light in order to see, pay to see. Now the hunter has this, this tradition. Well, tradition really, it's a history, the history. We started the light with the flambeau. We went across to the, to the carbide light as we discussed, and we are now going across to the headlamp ah. where the people put on the head. Now remember hunting is against the law. After 70, we have some hunters still hunt illegally. Some hunters do all types of things outside there. We don't know. We are just telling you that you're not supposed to hunt after 7, after 730. Yeah, but the point is, the reflection does not change. And if you hunt after hours or you hunt before hours, then as we say saying that the forest close, um, all at five o'clock inside the forest is actually dark, right? And you have to get a light to come out and so on. So technically you will be using some of these lights. Now as you said, this light here, as you seen with Damien, is a one stroke type light. And people have a tendency, right? You see in there, people have a tendency to look for the, the cheaper setup as much as possible. We have this one here, like this battery, battery oriented. But this one is designed in such a way that this is battery charged. Like they, they actually put the charger on this light. Um, the charger. The charger is placed on there. And this light, let's like put it on and they will look at. So we plug it on here and it actually charges. There is no battery. There is no there is no battery. But you put up your, your um, plug it on and then you get it, it will work for about eight hours and then after you charge it again. Now, hunters have developed all types of hunting techniques. This light that is issued as where we see just now, these two lights, regardless of the battery, 
and the way that we are operating. We have different types of light. Now we have here this light, this lamp, for example, will give you different colors. You see this is a red lamp. And in the red lamp, what you actually see, sometimes you actually up on the animal. The animal don't see you, but you actually see the animal eyes shining with the red lamp. But this, you also have a green lamp. It's a green lamp. And the green lamp is actually doing the same type of thing. You could actually be on the animal. Right? And then there is other other types might give you a more shallower light, like um, for example, this one here is giving you a sort of a white light. But there are other lights that might be yellow in color and giving you different types of color. So people use different color in the forest different lights, different vision. We have also, night hunting has been practiced by some people, as I said, although it is illegal. We have them actually using um, lights that they see in the night. They, were, um, they, they, they could walk up on the animal and actually see the animal without the animal seeing them. I think it's uh, the illegal light where they're talking about the, you know, you know that light where you put it on your head and you can actually reach up on the animal. You know, like you see night vision, you have night vision light. Right? So there's a different type of light. We will discuss that later. We'll cut this out. Right? So here we have the email actually doing the demonstration and you are seeing the different type of lighting system we have. We are not advising that people have to hunt in the night. It's against the law, but when we are doing the history of the hunting, this is the way the hunting is coming. Today we don't use Kaaba light, we use this what we call the battery light. Right. 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 Okay, here we have Damien actually distributed, looking at the light. You're noticing the spear, the piercing light that the hair light has. You're seeing the spot. You're looking at his head and looking at the light. You could notice that the the light is showing through the forest, through the open air or the will the, the forest area. And you're seeing a sort of a yellow stream of light going across. The headlight do not give that type of feel. Right? It is a more softer light. Right? <coughs> 